Okay, guys, let's get to our, our first game. We got a Friday game uh, between the Eagles and the Patriots. Patriots open two and a half point favorite, total of 56. Now up to three, I'm sorry, 46. The number is now three on the Patriots and the total up a little bit to 47. Keep in mind that these coaches are very friendly with each other, They're actually having joint session practices this week. Pats really didn't show anything last week. Guess the Redskins on the road, 23 to 6, and the Eagles uh, showed us that great offense, but not much of a defense, losing 34 to 28 at Chicago. Uh, Joe Chip Kelly now 2 and 3 against the spread in preseason, 4 and 1 over the total. Speaking of which, Bill Belichick is 49 and 29 over the total in preseason. Maybe that's uh, the way to look at this game. More offense than defense, maybe? Well, I think going into the second week, we're going to see uh, a little more uh, snaps by the starters. Um, by the 18, so to speak. I do, uh, you know, you look at last year, uh, Pats 12 and 4 regular season, won their first game in the playoffs, got ousted by Denver. Uh, Philly, um, ousted, uh, uh, quickly. Um, this year, uh, New England gets shellacked by Washington. Philly posted 28 and a loss to Chicago. Um, Last year, these two teams met in the preseason. Uh, New England did take the game. These two coaches are very friendly with one another, but it's, it's, it's time to get things going. We're only a few weeks away from the start of the regular season. I feel Philly has, uh, uh, right now, a superior quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and even quarterback in core. I put a lean on the Eagles here. Uh, New England, not so much that they, 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 they put a lot of stock in the preseason. I think Philly's uh, going to look to make a, make a turn here in this game. Okay, I have to take a look at the Eagles' defense. I mean, they were just awful last year. Part of it was the no-huddle offense, but even so, they were 32nd dead last against the pass. And then what do we see in week one uh, against the Bears? They gave up 491 total yards, 399 passing. So I have some serious questions about the depth and talent uh, on the Eagles' defense. And uh, no problem with the offense, though, but they're going to be facing this Patriot team that – I would classify this as an above-average quarterback rotation. Didn't see Tom Brady at all last week. We will see him this week. Ryan Mallett is probably better than he looked last week. He looked awful, didn't get much help from the offensive line. And then there's Jimmy Garoppolo, the rookie, who was just awful in preseason camp. And then all of a sudden, he played pretty well in that game last week. So uh, it's not a bad, I would call it an above-average rotation. One thing to keep in mind about the Patriots, though, is Dante Scarnecchi retired this offseason. That guy had been a long-time offensive line coach, did a tremendous job, not just for years, but for decades. Back in 2010, they were down to their fourth-string starting center and didn't miss a beat as they had one of the best teams in the NFL that year. Well, last year, his last year, they struggled a bit on this offensive line. Uh, Brady was sacked and hit more times than at any time since his rookie campaign. And then last week gets the Redskins. That offensive line was a major problem, which was a big problem why Ryan Mallett didn't do much. So that's something to keep an eye on. I think the Patriots are loaded across the board to have a good season. But that's one thing to watch this preseason. See if that offensive line is as shaky uh, as it was a year ago. And, and the Jim, uh, you got a Belichick here is 49 and 29 over the total in preseason. Does that mean he doesn't care a lick about defense or he's just so good at gauging offensive talent and getting the most out of guys? Well, last year, <laughs> talk about offensive talent. The Pats were not – uh, the offensive machine they had been in the past. And they they, they had tr troubles, of course, at wide receiver, one in jail, one hurt with, at the tight end position. Uh, they were not the Pats of old, for sure. Uh, the touchdown passes were down. Brady did not have the monster year, but they made the championship game, and they had a decent season. The Eagles, new head coach. When you look at the quarterback rotation for this game, now, again, I'm going to sound like a broken record here. It really comes down to what the game plan of the coaches are. What, not so much what they're going to do in the first or second quarter, but what's going to happen in the third and fourth quarter with the backup players. How many backup players are going to play on defense and offense makes a real big difference. You see that in a lot of these games. The team that wins the first half doesn't necessarily win the game because they're jo jockeying. They've got 100 players on the on, on the squads, there's only going to be 53 playing in the regular season. So they're looking at a lot of new people. Who wants to win this game? The fact that they're friends, the head coaches, probably takes a little bit of the juice out of this game, and they're not going to show too much. The Eagles are going to, not going to go up-tempo. Chip Kelly's already said that. 
He's going to he's going to slow it down in the preseason because these games don't matter that much. He doesn't want to get that many people hurt. But he did put up points. He's got a great quarterback rotation: Foles, Barkley, Keen, uh, this I, I don't know who this other guy is, and then Mark Sanchez. These guys can play in the NFL. And they can play as starting quarterbacks in the regular season. That's a great rotation when you compare Brady playing a few snaps, Garoppolo and Mallet, who did not play well last week, and is a little bit banged up and missed some practice this week. So I'd have to lean to the Eagles. I'm not excited about it. And I think the total's too high for me to play it over. I'll probably just pass the total, but I'd lean to the Eagles. Well, Joe mentioned last year's meeting between these teams in week one, 31-22. It was a shootout that went over the total. The Patriots led 24 to 14 at the half. Keep in mind, Tom Brady only played two series, but they were both 80 yard touchdown marks, seven of eight passing 65 yards. So he really carved up this weak Eagle secondary, which looked bad last week. And the yardage, both teams had over 440 yards. In fact, the Pats had 248 yards rushing. So they really chewed them up. And keep in mind, the Patriots are 4-0 over the total in week two of preseason. So that's why this total is very high. And that's the way I would lean toward this one, the up-tempo Eagles attack against the defense that is very suspect. And last year's game ended up with 53 points. 